So how can we download and install the Android Studio software so that we can develop Android app for the marker based AR project such that you can just click on that app to see the world of augmented reality through the eyes of mobile camera. Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps involved in downloading the Android Studio software so that we can see the AR based objects using our sp smartphone camera. So whenever we are going to point our Android based uh, uh, smartphone camera on an image target, then it should show the AR object like Darius and Maximus character we created in the previous video through the camera. With the help of Android Studio, we will add the functionality to see the AR model from mobile device. So stay connected till the end to acquire the complete knowledge. Also, like and share this video in case you feel that the content is very useful for you. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So without further delay, let's start uh, the download and install process. But before that, I just wanted to highlight that the only prerequisite uh, before we download and install Android Studio is Java JDK, which is Java Development Kit and JRE, which is Java Runtime Environment. If you already have both of them installed on your system, then you can just bypass downloading them and can come straight directly to downloading Android Studio. Java JDK comes for both 32 and 64 bit operating system computers. Most of the computers these days are 64 bit. So you can download the 64 bit operating system Java JDK.exe file from the Oracle website. If you don't know if your computer has 64 bit or 32 bit operating system, then you can just come to this PC <coughs> here on the left hand side and right click on it and then select the properties. To see your system properties you can see that my computer is 64 bit operating system right the system type column all right so now we will uh, open the browser and download this java jdk okay so let's open the browser real quick so on google.com you can just type download java jdk now click on java se development kit 8 now scroll down scroll down to uh, java se development kit 8u231 section and i'm using windows operating system and if you also have windows operating system then you can click on windows x64 here okay which is a x64 is just a exe file now if your windows operating system is 32 bit then you can click on this x86 downloader here all right so now you need to just accept the license agreement here. Oh, I think I uh, accepted the licensing agreement for uh, this Java SE development kit. You need to accept it here actually. So once you accept the licensing agreement, you can then click on x64.exe downloader. Okay. Once you click on it, a downloader will get started at the lower left corner. So you just need to double click on it and follow the instructions uh, in order to install it okay so once the installation is done you will see a separate folder for jdk and jd uh, jre inside c drive okay so inside c drive there is a program files okay and then you will see a separate folder for java like this and you can see that there are two folders created for jdk and jre now let's go ahead and download the android studio so head back to uh, browser once again and type download Android Studio and then click on this very first link here. So you will be routed to this page where we will see this download Android Studio button right here just right here and you can see that the current version is 3.5.3 for windows 64 bit and in, uh, its size is uh, somewhere around 718 mb so click on it and you will be asked to accept terms and condition so just click on it and then 
in fact select it and then click on download android studio for windows so you can see that download process has started on the lower left corner and it is going to take somewhere around three minutes so based on your internet speed uh, this uh, time can vary so you can see that uh, android studio is downloaded successfully now double click on this installer and then click on next so as you can see that um, my system already has uh, this uh, android studio uh, software so that's why this message has came up this is saying that this will remove all of the programs under this qualified path right so i'm not going to do that because i have already installed it on my system so all you need to do is just follow these instructions and you will be able to install the android studio on your system so i just click on no okay and cancel now once the in installation is finished the android studio will open up and you will be uh, able to see this particular screen where you can see various templates right so there is a phone and tablet templates then wear os templates etc so here we have these layout screens showing layouts of the app uh, you are planning to build so just click on this empty activity and you will be able to see this screen where you can configure your project so you can give the name of your project here any suitable name and you can keep the company domain then we have another option which is the package name which is the name of your company in reverse order so here we have com first followed by dot followed by application name the next we have this package name option which is nothing but the name of the company in reverse order of the domain so you can see that com is coming as first followed by dot then followed by name of the company or website followed by dot and then followed by application name so this is the naming convention package follows then we have another uh, section which has the location where your application is going to be saved so you can see that my application will be saved in this particular directory then you can choose a language of your uh, preferred choice so there are two languages kotlin and java so whatever language you like you can just choose that language and then you can choose the minimum api level okay so by default it has chosen the android studio uh 4.0.3 which is ice cream sandwich but you can choose any other uh, api level as per your need so we have jelly bean we have kit kat lollipop etc so you can just click on finish here and your project will be created and you can see that your application which you have created just now got opened in the android studio editor so this is the way we can uh, download and install uh, Android Studio and set up certain configuration parameters. So folks, this is it for this video. In the next uh, video, I will cover the steps to build an Android APK file for our Marker AR project so that you can use that as an app in your uh, Android mobile and start looking the Darius and Maximus character through the eyes of mobile camera. Please post your comments and let me know if you are liking this series so far. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.